time has come to once again answer life's most savory question. Whose cuisine reigns supreme? This is Iron Chef America. A delectable Japanese tradition has taken root in American soil. We have been graced oh. with the establishment of our very own kitchen stadium, where our nimble chairman has brought together the pungent flavors of East and West. It is here where the best of the best from around the world meet and face the ultimate gourmet challenge. Hi, I'm Alton Brown here in Kitchen Stadium, the uh, culinary coliseum where the only ingredient that isn't allowed is fear. Well, that and those, those little containers of yogurt they give you on airplanes that always blow up in your face. And, oh, and mothballs. We found on those, too. Anyway, are you ready for some down and dirty, deep-fried fisticuffs? I know I am. A palm frond loom, that's what we yeah, need. Brazilian pink peppercorns, believe it or not. Let's get the crap and the spiders out of here. <laughs> I'm making noodles. Yes, but the Ashkenazi would be up there too. These are grits. These are these are actually how many grits? Pecans that I've barbecued, roasted. That's better. I feel like it's working now. Well, I'm stirring Josh's secret, secret ingredient. We're going to try to make some mayonnaise. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil, but you don't want too much because you don't want it to be too heavy. So I'm just going to put a little bit of good olive oil in, just a tablespoon or two. And now, we'll see if we can make this thing work. We have our barbecue roasted pecans going into the blender. Fennel pollen. Fennel pollen. Let me take one. How are you? This is the main station. Just cleaning all the poop out of our little shrimp. Nice. Well, what I loved about it was that the uh, the chickpea puree was the perfect base layer of flavor, and it really let the, the shrimp stand out. Everybody really enjoyed this fish. The velouté was so creamy and light and smooth and velvety. The shrimp was delicious. Yeah. Fresh and uh, wonderful. The presentation was beautiful. writer's idea of what to do. Black and white and red all over. Uh -huh. Pasta direct from Puglia, Italy yeah. with squid ink and regular pasta. The begonia is edible. And the shrimp are meant to evoke twins in utero. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think the presentation was amazing. 
I have never seen pasta like that. Um, you didn't leave a lot. No, I, I didn't leave too much. On first viewing, it kind of reminded me of the movie Beetlejuice for some reason with the, uh, the, the multicolored pasta. Which I don't see a lot of it anymore in your dish. <laughs> but it was just just absolutely delicious. This is, this is very interesting. It engages your taste buds very pleasantly, but it also engages your intellect. It's very unusual and creative and imaginative <laughs> and good. Molto romantica la presentazione. Yeah, Devo romantic. Dire it che was romantic. Mi ha commosso il fatto dei, anche dei gemelli, i gamberi, doppi, gemelli. There you go. She Brava, was, uh, Gay. She Brava. was touched by the presentation. It was a very romantic and poetic presentation. And she was very touched by the twins. <laughs> In utero. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Bravo. These are actually extra shrimp. We had extra shrimp, so we decided that we're gonna make the sandwiches extra good. Here is a pink peppercorn shrimp po'boy. Um, so it uses the, the pink peppercorn on the property that are absolutely fresh, um, cooked with the shrimp's own shell. So it's a proper shrimp sauce instead of a cheap mayonnaise. But to make sure you have a palate cleanser, there is a mayonnaise-based uh, slaw to the side. Well, first of all, the homemade bread is absolutely one of the best rolls I've ever had. It has this nice corny taste to it, it's light. It's there was um, a, a variety of depths of flavor that were both in the slow uh, and in the shrimp. It was a beautiful combination of different flavors. They were just really delicious, a nice combination of tastes. We're going to have a great deal of difficulty because I think everyone is going to have to vote a 10 on creativity for everything. Yeah. dish that in every way could have been served in about the year 1400 from local ingredients to this area. Mm. Um, what you have is a gulf shrimp with a uh, canucci, which is a corn that has been soaked in lime made from, from ash from a fire. And then you have a um, gulf shrimp which has been lightly uh, spiced with allspice, which could have potentially been traded with other Native American tribes. And, uh, and then on top, sort of a drizzle, is a um, pecan, uh, what's called soft key. And um, the soft key is basically, a, is, is basically a mashed pecan, and I've added a little bit of coconut um, milk to that, which uh, sort of thickened it up. And there you go. <laughs> And you'll notice that you don't have any silverware, so you eat it with your hand. And the mat, the mat is a woven palm leaf, purely for decoration, but it's something that um, could have been used locally as a serving dish. And that's why I married him. <laughs> Unbelievable combination of flavors. The sweetness of the corn, the spiciness, the presentation on the woven mat, it was incredible. <laughs> That's why you have it, it's so spicy. I understand that. <laughs> the coconut is native to here. It is native? Yeah. Oh good, I was Well, it's at least pre-contact, so. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I really have to think about it. I'm sorry. I'm it was, it's very it. tough because everyone is Incredible, I really, I'm, right. It's noteworthy. very, this is gonna be very difficult. They're all noteworthy.
Peter. Right. The taste winner is Josh Woo! with 95 points. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the presentation winner is Josh Whoa. with 48 points. Whoa. The creativity winter winner is Josh oh with 50 God. points. Oh. Oh, Josh won with a total of 193 points. Swept oh. yeah. What you were? What, did, what was the term you used? Sweep. A sweep. Uh -huh. It was a sweep.